you are in prison with women that have nothing to lose, okay? When you put people in prison and give them a bunch of time and tell them it doesn't matter how good you are, it doesn't matter how kind you are, it doesn't matter if you do everything in prison right, you will never, ever go home. These women don't care. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance on hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know, y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you all? I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you guys are feeling good because I am feeling great. Okay, so hi, if you're new here, my name is Christina. Whenever I was 21, I was sentenced to three years prison in the state of Florida. Now, today we are going to be talking about 12 secret rules, unspoken rules, or whatever you would want to call it between the inmates. Okay, these are rules that inmates have with each other that you just either know our rules or you're going to find out real quick if you break one of these rules, okay? If you are green when you come into prison, and a lot of women are, and I'm going to specifically talk about the women's prison today because that's what I was in. I know that the male prison, they have their things too, but this is women's prison, okay? If you're green when you come in, and by green, I mean no street smarts, no common sense, that type of thing. Maybe you were very sheltered as a, a young girl and maybe you didn't, you know, maybe you just got caught up and you end up coming to prison and you don't know the street life. You're going to find out real quick, baby girl. I promise you. Also, before I get started with this, I want to tell you guys that there are so many unspoken rules. I literally came up with the first 12 within like five minutes and I was like I can keep going with this so if you guys want a part two and possibly even a part three let me know because there are so many inmate to inmate like basically politics and rules and stuff like that like that goes on in there so alrighty let your girl know other than that let's get started with the rule number one all right so the first unspoken rule that inmates have is do not talk about your case if you have an open case what do i mean by that a lot of women that i was in prison with or that are in prison are fighting their case they're trying to get it overturned or they're trying to get their sentence shortened or they're trying to do whatever you see a lot of these women spend a lot of time in the library because there is a library there and there's usually like you know, like say you have a, a woman that was a paralegal or a lawyer on the street, right? Then she committed a crime and she gets in prison. And yes, those people are in prison too, okay? It's not just all like street life people. There are a lot of very professional people that get in trouble for, you know, embezzlement or tax fraud or, you know, stealing, whatever, never been in trouble a day in their life, you know, live in a <clears throat> multi-million dollar home and drive all kind of nice cars and they end up going to prison and now they're in there with a bunch of uh, <laughs> hoodlums. And so people like that, that are like paralegals or lawyers, usually try to get a job in the library and they try to give legal advice to other inmates that are fighting their case. So with that being said, if you are fighting your case, you don't speak about it. You don't tell anybody you're fighting your case because what can happen and what does happen is you'll have other inmates that want to get off. They, you know, maybe they got 15 years and they only want to serve five. They'll call up somebody real quick and pretend like they've got information on your case and they will give up either real information if you're talking about it or even if you don't say a word about your case, they just know you have an open case. They will say that they heard you say something and get up on a stand and testify against you with a lie, okay, and try to get their sentence shortened. That happens. Ask anybody that's ever been to prison, that type of thing happens. So the very first unspoken rule is, is if you have an open case or a case that you're fighting, you say nothing, okay, to nobody. <laughs> nothing. Okay. All right. Let's move on to number two. 
Another rule that the inmates have between each other is if you borrow something, you have to pay back at least twice as much. Sometimes it's more depending on like, let's say I need, I say I need two soups from you. I'm going to get my money next week. Grandma don't put money in the account. It's three weeks before I get my money back. Now that inmate is going to want four times. She's going to want four soups instead of two. And that's a real thing. Unless you're like best friends with somebody in there and you borrow something from them and you pay it back one, you know, and that doesn't even hardly happen. The unspoken rule is you have to pay back at least double. Okay. That's just what it is. Nobody's just going to come up to you when you first get there and say, here, let me let you have these cookies and let me let you have these chips until you can, you know, get you some money. No, 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 honey. It don't work like that is pay back double at least, okay? So if you borrow something, be prepared to pay it back and pay it back double or get into a fight because that's just, that's just how it rolls in there, okay? Two for one. <laughs> the third unspoken rule in there is not to hog the phone. Yes, there are women that every now and then, especially if you're new, you get up there on the phone and then you try to get on the phone again, that will cause a fight in a heartbeat. The phones are like prime area at nighttime because we only get a short amount of time every day to use the phone. And then you've got, okay, let me give you an example. In my dorm, you've got, you know, 70 to 100 women in one dorm and there's two or three pay phones. That's it, okay? And there's like a two hour window at nighttime where you can use the phone. Not everybody's going to be able to use the phone every day. So you have to be courteous in there. You have to be respectful to other people. Don't get up there trying to call baby daddy every single night so you can make sure he ain't out running the streets with another girl. No, there's people in there that want to talk to their children. There's people in there that have family members that are sick that they need to talk to. So you got to be courteous about the phones because fights will start quickly <laughs> over somebody hogging the phone. Just showing you. The fourth unspoken rule, which should be a little bit of common sense, but some people just don't, uh, not everybody has common sense, I guess. What is that saying? That common sense ain't so common. And this is what you're going to see the most fights over in prison. Don't mess with somebody's girlfriend, okay? You have to think about it. And I want to do a whole entire video talking about um, transgenders in the female's prison and, you know, relationships and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see that, let me know down below. But don't mess with somebody's girlfriend. Some of them women in there are incredibly territorial. Think about how you are with your man or your girl or whoever your significant other is. I know me, I'm not a super jealous person and my husband isn't a super jealous person, but I've had my day. Whenever I was younger, it, you, you know, used to I used to be like, don't even look at my man type of thing. You know what I mean? Now I'm like, y'all look at him, man. He cute. Look at him. He fine, ain't he? He's y'all. Some of y'all be telling me in the comments that Jeremy's y'all's boyfriend and I'll be giving y'all kissy faces because I love that because, you know, I, that's how I am now. But back in the day, it wasn't like that. So you got to think if you are a lesbian in prison or bisexual or whatever, I'm going to refer to lesbian because it's, you know, only women in there. Okay. So if you're a lesbian while you're in prison, you are around competition 24 seven, right? It's not like when you're on the streets and you're with your significant other and it's a mixture of people. It's all women. Okay. And people are looking at your relationship and they're wishing that they had that. Okay. So the bet, do not talk to nobody's girlfriend. That is the most, and I'm not talking about, Hey, how are you doing? Don't get friendly. I got to do a whole video on that. Let, let me know. Let me know. Books. I, I could spend 30 minutes right now on just that one because like I said that is the most fights so in order to just keep this video moving <laughs> I'm gonna keep going but let me know if y'all want to see that all right the fifth unspoken rule I've talked to you guys about this before is do not talk to the guards okay do not talk to the correctional officers unless you just need something don't get friendly with the COs if you're having a, even women that are having relationships with the COs do not do it in the blatant, open, obvious with everybody because you're going to go under investigation and women are going to snitch on you because that's just how it rolls in there. But like just as far as like not even, I'm not talking about a relationship. I'm talking about just being friendly, always up there talking to the CEOs. Inmates are going to think you're snitching. Okay. Inmates are. If you guys watched the video between me and the correctional officer, it was the, 
the very first video of confessions of a correctional officer the correctional officer told a story about how a guy was just up there you know an inmate changing her trash he changed her trash every single day it wasn't anything new but somebody had gotten into trouble for gunning her and if you don't know what gunning is go watch that video and you can find out and the inmates ended up hurting the man really bad because he was up there talking to the correctional officer. He's only talking to her to change her trash, but they thought he was snitching and he ended up getting hurt really bad. So yes, just stay out of the correctional officer's faces. Do your best to only talk to them if you need pads or you need a sick call or you need something like that. Other than that, you, you want to stay away because if somebody ends up getting in trouble, say you just up there talking about the weather or a newspaper article or anything like that. You just having a conversation with them like, you know, did you know that this happened here and da, 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 da. And then later on that guard sees another inmate doing something. The actual guard sees it. The guard writes that inmate up. They're going to all think that you snitched. So it's best just to stay away, protect yourself and just stay away from the guards. All right, the sixth unspoken rule in there is do not mess with the church girls. Now, there is a very strange unspoken respect that goes out to the women who are serious about the church, okay, or serious. Now, you're always going to have those women that are going to church because they're scheming and scamming and passing notes to officers or, you know, going to see their girlfriends. These ain't the ones I'm talking about. There's usually a few women in there that are serious and, you you know, the thing is just you don't mess with them. You, you just don't. You just leave them alone and they're usually the ones that, you know, are the not going to bother you and you don't bother them. And it's a really weird, like unspoken thing in there. I know for me, when I first got to prison, if you guys watched my three year prison experience story, I was completely against women going to church in prison. I was like, they should have got it on the streets. How are they going to come to prison and try to find God now? They wouldn't, you know, they was out in the streets, you know, smoking dope. And now they're in here trying to find Jesus. I was horrible about it. But the women in there that are really seriously taking it serious, it's just like this unspoken rule, you just don't mess with them. They're kind of like off limits. The seventh unspoken rule about being in prison is you don't use any kind of racist terms. I think we should all know this. That's a good way to get your butt beat in there is using any kind of derogatory terms that has to do with race in there. Okay. That's a good way to get jumped. That's a good way to get singled out And it. You know, that's just what it is. You know, nobody, we don't stand that in there. So don't even let it come out your mouth. Cause I can guarantee you, I can guarantee 99.9999999% you are going to get your butt beat. If you let a racist term slip out of your mouth, just saying don't do it. The eighth unspoken rule about being in prison is don't let anybody punk you. Now, what do I mean by this? <sighs> this is such a hard thing to talk about because, you know, you don't want to get yourself in a situation where you're going to get hit with a lock in a sock because anything can happen when you are in prison. But at the same time, and I'm not talking about a lock in a sock type of thing, Usually a woman is not going to hit you in the head with a lock in the sock at nighttime because you didn't allow them to skip you in line. Okay. Those type of fights usually happen from like girlfriends and you know, thieves or snitches and stuff like that. Okay. But what I mean by letting somebody punk you is don't let somebody come up to you, take your stuff in your face. And I've talked to you guys about this before, you know, sit all up on your bed and disrespect you in that way, because you have to understand your bed is your home in there. It is your only little spot that is yours. You have to share the bathroom. You have to share the chow hall. You have to share the sinks, the showers, everything else. So your bed is your only spot. That is your home. So when women blatantly come up and disrespect you, that aren't your friends, that aren't nice to you, that don't come and talk to you and you come in from work all day from working out in the sun all day long and you got four or five girls kiki and kaka and sitting on your bed and messing your bed up and then you know you come in to get something off of your bed or get something out of your chest and you're having to say excuse me to them and they're in your house you can't let them punk you like that it's so much better to say something remember I do not promote fighting. Okay. Nothing, you know, in the free world out here is ever solved by fighting. Okay. But in there, it is literally better to stand up for yourself and possibly take a butt whooping 
than to let them punk you. Because once you start letting people punk you like that in there, you, your whole entire stay is going to be different. People are going to manipulate you. They're going to run all over you. They're going to dog you out. It's going to be a hundred times worse. So you have to stand up for yourself in there. And that is an unspoken rule, but that's what it is. The ninth unspoken rule is to clean up after yourself. Yes. Don't be leaving your panties laying all around. Don't be leaving your pads in the toilet. Don't flush your pads down the toilet. I literally seen a girl get beat down because she kept putting her full pads in the toilet and then she, I get, I don't know if she was trying to flush them and they weren't going down as she was leaving them, but everybody knew it was her. And then you have to understand like that's our house in there, right? We all have to use those toilets. We all have to use that. And women get really mad about it, especially if you have women that have 10, 15, 20, 30 years and they have to live there. Most of the time, women like me, when I got three years, I'm just going to mind my business. It's whatever. I'm trying to get out. But when you still got 15 years left, and you keep telling this girl to stop, you know, flushing her pads down the toilet and leaving blood all over the toilet seat and all that stuff. These women will get with you about that. So you clean up after yourself in prison for real. That's serious business. The 10th unspoken rule is going to kind of play off of that other one. And that is to bathe, have good hygiene. Yes. You want to know a very quick way to get tortured, ridiculed, and picked on in prison is the women that do not bathe, okay? I have seen inmates not only fight over someone not bathing and not, not, and, and these women in, you know, I was never involved in this. Like I said, I was minding my businesses about, you know, that kind of stuff because I'm trying to go home and stuff, but, you know, getting and it all starts it doesn't start from like a woman going she didn't take a bath i'm gonna go punch you on the head it starts from women picking on her you know talking to her you nasty you don't ever be you stink you know and just picking at her and then the girl finally smarts off and then the animosity has been built up from these other women and then they end up getting into it and getting into a fight i've seen other women like go the the nicer women the ones that don't really want to fight all squat up, go to the COs, try to try to make them put this woman in the infirmary for being sick in the head just because she's not bathing. Like women pay attention in there to whether you're bathing or not. And sometimes they can smell you, you know, if you stink in there and we're all living in the same quarters. So have good hygiene and bathe. Like you have to take a shower. They're watching you. Just saying. The 11th unspoken rule about being in prison is don't isolate yourself. Do not isolate yourself too much, okay? That whole like stay to yourself type of thing is only gonna go so far. When you stay to yourself, that means you need to have like one or two people. Do not be completely isolated where you don't talk to anybody because that's gonna make you a target too. People are gonna think that you are, you know, you think you're better than them or, you know, maybe they think you're an undercover in there and that is something you definitely do not want, okay? They think you're a rat within the prison and th there there are people like that in there, not necessarily like that they're undercover cops, but they are in there snitching and, you know, whatever. So you do not want to just completely isolate yourself because that is definitely going to make you a target. You're going to need to try to find one or two friends at least that you can talk to. All right, and the 12th unspoken rule about being in prison for this video is the blatantly obvious no snitching. Yes, no snitching at all. So we've already covered don't get friendly with the COs, don't be an undercover rat, and then now here we are with blatantly do not snitch. See nothing, heard nothing, say nothing, okay? Even if you see somebody doing something in there and an officer asks you, <clears throat> you can do what you want to do, but I'm here to tell you right now, you do not, not, not want to be labeled a snitch in prison. That reputation will follow you everywhere. It will follow you if they transfer you prisons, the, it, it, it will. You don't want to be labeled a snitch in there. That's a very hard one too because it's like if you see like your best friend get, you know, murdered in there, like should you say something? Those type of situations, I'm not going to say, you know, what you should do, okay? But if you see somebody, you know, steal some cookies from the kitchen, okay? Or if you see somebody, you know, 
making some hooch and they're not bothering you or if you see two girls in the shower or whatever mind your business okay because your life is on the line in there you are in prison with women that have nothing to lose okay when you put people in prison and give them a bunch of time and tell them it doesn't matter how good you are it doesn't matter how kind you are it doesn't matter if you do everything in prison right you will never ever go home these women don't care, okay? So mind your business. I promise you, if you don't listen to nothing else, you better mind your business, okay? Nope, plead the fifth, didn't see anything. Nope, oh, I was reading this book right here. Just saying. All right, my loves, I hope that you guys like this video. Have any of y'all been incarcerated or know any of these rules? Family members, friends, are you a correctional officer? Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? You know y'all don't have to agree with everything that I say, so I would love to hear your opinions or your experiences down below. Please don't forget to like this video. It's a free way that you can help your girl out. <laughs> and until next time, I love you guys so, so, so very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.